hey what's up welcome to new video in this series of videos we will create this laravel admin panel in Vue.js so currently it is in development uh, I have just created user management system like so for example if user visits admin you can see it's dashboard uh, admin dashboard and then inside users a setting it will list all the users in the system you can edit uh, the user you can also perform CRUD on rules you can create new rules assign permissions similarly you can create new permissions so in this video I will walk you through how I created this and how to create so we have a fresh new Laravel project over here so I've uh, so for managing rules and permission I've installed this package so I've installed this package beforehand it is uh, quite simple just uh, include it using composer and uh, in 5.5 we don't need to do these yeah we can just publish this migration afterward and then migrate so if we want con config file uh, to config any uh, to get a final control over the application uh, uh, package we can publish the config and then change it there like models permission all right so so these are the steps to install quite simple so after that uh, so uh, after that we need to uh, pull in all the npm packages and view inside our project so by default laravel uh, comes with everything if you go to package station so here we already got those we just need to pull in using npm install so npm install so I've already run it so in your case you need to wait for it to finish so once all the packages are pulled in we can run um, PHP artisan make auth which will give us some basic boilerplate so I've already run it so I'm just showing it so that you can get the idea so once that is done uh, we have uh, some boilerplate like in resources views we got this layout app uh, layout so we got this and we have uh, all files compiled files already pulled in so this is all uh, default uh, markup all right so once uh, all, everything is pulled up uh, we need one more uh, library frame a uh, library uh, for views called this beautify.js so it provides us um, quite nicer template all view components we don't need to recreate them we can just use them so if it is first time using uh, beautify for you uh, don't worry it will be it's uh, it's easy it's just set up uh, view components that you can use so to include that uh, what we need to do is yeah we can run this command npm install beautify save npm install beautify yeah, we don't need to do save you can do it so just wait for it to finish so after uh, beautify is pulled in you need so everything is uh, here all instruction here I'll show you where to put that. So once package is pulled in, we need to go to resources, JS, and then app.js. So here uh, we have to uh, tell that, uh, we have to tell view that use Beautify. So we need to add, first we need to import Beautify from Beautify, and then we need to use it like so also one more step we need to include this uh, import this uh, CSS file for beautify like so so all instruction over here import this use this and then import like this which we have done it here all right so that will give us CSS so additionally you can include this so that you get all the icons and material uh, font so just copy it and put it inside layouts app all right so like so here 
yeah so with that set we are good to go with all right so after uh, all necessary packages pulled in we need to now set up the admin panel so we need to set up the layout like so so this layout we need to set up uh, at this location slash admin so to do that uh, we need uh, we first define a route all right so these uh, this comes by default we need to define one uh, route like so so here i've defined when someone visits slash admin or any other parameter after admin we need to uh, we need to hit this controller method admin controller at index by the way uh, we need to create admin controller yeah you can do it from here php artisan make controller admin controller all right so once that is created we need to define index method we'll define it in a moment so here uh, if someone visits admin or any other parameter like admin user admin settings so all of those routes will hit this endpoint index so i've defined if where any is anything so i've also specified auth middleware so only authenticated user can visit this so admin controller so index uh, will just uh, redirect us to this and uh, admin view so admin dot blade so by the way we need to create this admin dot blade as well i've created that here so admin dot blade yeah so admin dot blade is simple html uh with yeah so i've included app dot js and app dot css so this needs to be included because these are compiled file which will contain all view related code and beautify all of javascript that we'll be writing yeah so uh, you can just copy it from here app dot css everything copy from here into admin dot blade and then just uh, just remove everything inside body so whatever is inside body just remove that and replace that with this part so id div and then we have defined this admin component yeah we'll define this in a moment just comment it for now so uh, for now you can just put it as an empty div with id app so that all view related code will be uh, output here okay so once that is done uh, we uh, next will define the admin component which will define it here so inside js components so there is already example component you can create you can duplicate this and name it admin dot view and inside admin dot view uh, if we see yeah like so so simple template so uh, this thing will copy from uh, beautify so if you go to uh, beautify website there is a section yeah pre-made layout so there is some pre-made layout that we'll uh, use so i have used uh, this one this one just go to code source code yeah just go to source code and just copy everything from here copy it and paste it inside admin dot view then we'll get then we'll get this sort of layout so by the way you you can just get this code from github uh, you can pull it and you can study it so nothing more going on just this and these are list items uh, which will display uh, let me show you which will display these uh, nav dashboard setting so these list item is navigation we can we can just make it new component for navigation we'll do in later videos so this toolbar inside laravel view admin and then i've added these menus we'll add these these menu for notification and this then user and here uh inside v content here inside v content will display everything like whatever is loaded inside view router so by the way we'll install uh, view router in a moment 
so once that is done our admin uh, layout is uh, set up so if someone visits admin or whatever route it will uh, redirect us to this same route all right uh, next we'll install our view router so that so this will be the single page application that's why we need view router so just we can do npm install view router so once that is installed so setup steps are all specified here you can just follow it so go to app.js and then import view, uh, view router and then use it that's it so we'll create some uh, routes first like so if someone hits dashboard we should load this dashboard component if someone goes setting it should load like so so i've created these two that's why you can see it here so to do that to add uh, that first we need uh, two routes so for now we'll define all routes in app.js so later on we'll refactor it to a separate file for now everything will be inside app.js resources js app.js so by the way uh, after creating admin we need to register it so that part might be missed so like we uh, register in example component when uh, after defining admin we need to register it like so with that we'll define a constant called route so like so so path will be if someone goes to admin we'll load the dashboard component which we'll create here similarly if someone goes to users it will load users roles roles like so so route will be defined like this so let's create this component dashboard settings so by the way i have created these inside here so js components and i've created a separate folder for pages so since they are pages so dashboard so simple temp uh, template with some lorem ipsum and the name of like so similarly for settings i've created like this all right so once that uh, those two are uh, defined we can import them like so and then use it like so so now if someone visits admin slash uh, sorry admin slash slash settings it should uh, redirect them to this setting component like we did here settings dashboard all right so after defining routes we need to uh, define it here so like we need to put that link over here so to do that uh, these things are inside our admin dot view over here so admin dot view v lists so we got we got dashboard so dashboard should take us to slash admin similarly for users to admin users admin roles so this this setting uh, the setting link should take them to so we can define uh, we can specify route like so to and then so since we install view router then it will take over and then it will load that component so if someone hits this link then it will load the setting component and display it inside router view so like so router view yeah just copy this component from github and just study it 